fucking love those songs. Yeah. Yeah. So we were talking about we were talking about Lemmy before. I, I actually I actually met Lemmy. Well, actually, we support supported Lemmy at the Auckland Town Hall when I was like maybe 19 years old, yeah. and um, wow. and uh, I, at that point, that guy was a fucking god, you know. So um, I was pretty, I was just amazed that we were playing with him. But then TVNZ had this children's television program, and they approached me about doing an interview with Mr. Lemmy uh, for, for children's television, and I. I thought, I've never done TV, but sure, yeah, I'm going to go. And uh, so they took me, after, after Modi had sound checked, they all went back to their, their room, and, um, and they, they, the TVNZ people grabbed me and uh, said, let's go into their room, which, which is total faux pas. You don't walk into other people's bedrooms, but we did. And then uh, she, the, the producer said to them, uh, so Mr. Levy, we're going to do this interview, so can you other boys... Uh, Go away, basically. Yeah. <laughs> to to motor him, basically. And so he started scowling at her. And then she goes, Go and sit down next to him. And so I, it's just this couch with this really angry rock star and this little 19 year old guy being <laughs> me. And I was shitting my pants. And uh, he waited till they all left and I sat down. He didn't look at me once and he just looked at her and said, You fucking rude bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you tell my band to get out of their own fucking band room? And I was just like, like fuck this! <laughs> I, wanted, I just want to be anywhere else but there. And then he just, and then he just turned around, and patted me on the knee, and said, "There, there, son, it's not your fault." <laughs> it's that silly cow. <laughs> I was like, fuck, uh, that's cool, but I still don't want to be. Because <laughs> he's really big, what he was really big. He was massive, like a tall, warty, ugly guy <laughs> that happened to, happened to be the most rock and roll human being imaginable. Like that guy literally did have speed for breakfast for 30 years of his life. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that's a good diet. But <laughs> it's pretty commendable, isn't it? <laughs> I made it to 